hey everyone so in my previous video in this java series we have seen how we can use comments and how to write comments what is multi-line comment single line comment how the java compiler and interpreter deals with comments and everything regarding that in this video we are going to see how to write a simple uh, program or how to write a simple code in java using eclipse okay so i hope you have all installed eclipse uh, you can if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button and if you are watching this playlist make sure to watch our previous videos as well, as well so that you can have a clear concept so for making a, a new package we can we have to go to file then new and from there we can add a new package okay so we'll click on package and the folder name whatever is your user uh, location you want to choose or you want to store your programs you can give there or you can just browse and give it any name like abc or anything then just click on the create uh, finish option then it will create your package okay so we have already created one package here in my previous video so this is the package we have created learn with debris so i'm not creating one more and after creating the package we need to there will be these files already there so in the source file there is package one okay you can see here that's how we will be creating new programs okay for by creating new package and new classes so we can also create a new package from here by from source you can create a new package suppose i'm creating a package package i'm naming it as package 2 okay i'm naming this package as package 2 so that this is going to be our second program okay okay and inside this package 2 we need to create a new class so i'll just right click on this package and go to new and create on a new class okay so whatever class name you want to give suppose i am giving the class name as uh, my second program my when it will create the class you have to give access modifier like public pack, uh, package whatever you want so what this uh, there are different different other access modifiers like private protected abstract final static but we are going to learn about the public abstract modifier in this video what is public abstract modifier means means whatever will be inside your class whatever uh, codes or methods or different different uh, data uh, fields or methods whatever you will be writing anyone can access those from even outside of your package okay so public access modifier means everyone or from anywhere you can access this uh, class items or class uh, methods so that's why we are using public here okay and do you want uh, do you want to create the void main function of as uh, as well as creating uh, the class then you should click on this check check box then it will uh, automatically create the main function when it is creating the class so if we creating this public static void means uh, we are clicking if we are uh, clicking on this checkbox of this uh, main function then mm -hmm. uh, and then click on this finish button so it will create a new class okay you can see this is a new class as i have named it package 2 and the na class name is my second program which we have given and the public static void main function is already created so the main function we understand that the, the main function what is the other three words are what that are there what are the meanings of those what is public static why what are the meanings so public meaning we have already uh, mentioned that public means uh, anyone or any program can uh, access this particular function that is this particular main function or the anything what you are writing inside it it can be accessed from anywhere even from outside this package you can access it from the this package one also we can access this okay or any other package we might write in the letter from there also we can access this if we are uh, making it public then static uh, keyword this is also a keyword uh, as like as the public keyword but means that uh, we can uh, run this function or we can run this main program even without creating any object or any reference for this class okay so that's what this static keyword is for okay and this void keyword here is a written type this void means nothing so it will not return anything this function will not return anything that's why it is mentioned as void return type so any function that returns nothing is going to be a void return type and this main is the name of the function okay and these are the arguments so this is a uh, string arg args means this is the array of strings uh, uh, the arguments will be uh, collected from as an array of strings okay so don't need to worry about this we're not going to use this in this program later we will show you throughout uh, in the latter stage of the playlist and also let's see what also let's check what are the uh, this class keyword means this class keyword we use whenever we're creating any class okay so we use the access specifier so public will be the access specifier then the keyword class and then the name of the class okay and then whatever we want to use any data field or any method we need to enclose it within uh, curly braces 
so in this class we only have one method that is the main method and here we are going to run the basic course uh, the basic things uh, basic uh, print function we are going to show you so but for print function uh, we need to use that system dot out dot println method okay since we are going to show the, uh, show you to this but inside the println we have to pass any string value that will be printed so i am writing uh, uh, this is first line okay and we need to give uh, semicolon after everything after every coding line we need to give semicolon so that we can run it okay so now we will run this so see this is first line is getting printed here okay and what if we don't uh, use this println function what if we use this print function so again we, i will just copy this line once more then you can easily understand this okay so if i am running this let's see what is coming this is the first line is coming in the first line then the new line is starting and in this new line it is coming as this is the second line okay but if we remove this ln so what is this system dot out dot print function will do let's run and see see now this is not coming to a new line okay uh, this is just printing both of the lines in the same line so this print function this print function whatever is showing in this uh, particular string value we are passing inside the uh, brackets this print function will just print it in the output screen okay but this print alien function will do what it will again do the, uh, the same thing it will also print this thing uh, inside the uh, bracket it will print this thing in the output screen but after that it will start a new line this print function no new line was starting and for that the second line was also coming in the uh, same line without starting any new line but for print alien function see again this is starting a new line and this is uh, again starting from the start of a second line. So that's it and if you have any queries to understand this you can comment down.